All right. Um, today we are going to be talking about how to take research notes and specifically choosing the best evidence. So you'll see here I have my own question plugged in here up at the top for my research question. So I said, how does coronavirus affect schools in the U.S.? You'll remember that I made sure that this was relevant to many people, like something that a lot of people will care about. And it also narrows in on a specific subject. So I'm not just saying, what are we going to do about coronavirus? But I'm instead saying, okay, I'm going to both think about the U.S. specifically as like a region to focus on and schools to think about specific like populations of people. Then I'm going to start thinking back to my sub questions. I might even generate new ones as I go. And I'm going to be thinking about those for what information I'm looking for in each article. In this first article, I'm going to be looking for sort of an explanation of like, what is coronavirus? What's going on? Because I know that I'm going to have to share some of that basic information with my reader so that they know what's going on. My first article is here in New Zella. It's called Your Most Urgent Questions About the New Coronavirus. Before I do anything else, I'm actually going to copy my title. I'm going to right click and say copy. And on my notes, I'm actually going to put this over here in source. When I paste, I'm going to paste without formatting so that the text isn't huge. But now I have my title right here. I know my website is Newzella because that's where I'm getting most of my sources from at this point. Let's see. My author is Science News for Students. And the date published is 2-10-2020. I'm going to copy these over. So I know that this was a month ago. So that'll help me keep that in mind as I start looking at my evidence. Let's read this first paragraph together. It says... Scientists are racing to unravel the mysteries of a new coronavirus that recently emerged in China. The outbreak is now a global public health emergency, the World Health Organization said on January 30th. As of February 10th, the virus has infected more than 40,000 people globally and resulted in more than 900 deaths. Its rapid spread has sparked global concern. It is also triggering many questions from researchers and the public alike. In this rapidly evolving epidemic, many unknowns remain. So based on what I've seen here, I can tell that this article is going to be about addressing these concerns as well as like what these questions people are having, trying to kind of getting everybody on the same page. So with that, I'm going to read the first like big info paragraph. It says, Here's what we know so far about what's known as the 2019 novel coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. What is 2019 NCOV? Coronaviruses are one of a variety of viruses that typically cause colds, but three members of this viral family have caused more severe outbreaks that include pneumonia, a type of inflammatory lung disease, and risk of death. The first was Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. Then came Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. Now there is 2019 COV, or NCOV. This latest virus first emerged in Wuhan, China. Okay, so first, this is telling me exactly what this actually is. So, um, I am like thinking I probably want to share that with my audience. So I'm going to copy this directly so that I have the exact words that are in here for my direct evidence. So this is coronaviruses are one of a variety of viruses that typically cause colds. And I want to bring that all the way down to here, talking about how there's like these more, uh, these three members of this viral family, because I think it shows people both where this is coming from, as well as like what the big concern is. I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to say, okay, I want to paste this directly in because as you can see, my evidence needs to be directly from the text. I'm going to say paste without formatting because I don't want it to go all over. 
And here it is. My first quotation. I'm going to put quotes around it to make sure that's clear. Now, I need to analyze this. Analysis is when I explain the evidence in my own words. So, what I'm really trying to say is that coronavirus... Um, comes from the same bug as a cold, but it is much more, um, I'm going to say dangerous, maybe? You'll notice here that I'm doing a lot of thinking out loud because I'm really trying to think about how I would describe this same information to somebody without using these words of the author. I really want to put it into my words and take ownership of the information. So this is what I'm going to have for now. But those are my two main goals is to find evidence that comes directly from the text and then just put that evidence back into my own words and explain it to my audience. All right, now it's time to try it for yourself. Remember, now that I have like said, okay, this is what coronavirus is, as I keep going, I won't need more information that says exactly this. It should be something new and it'll help me answer my questions. So keep that in mind as you keep going through yours. Good luck.